In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Rode VideoMic NTG. I will also do a comparison test between the Rode NTG mic and my iPhone mic as well as my webcam mic. And then we'll see if it's worth the upgrade. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lars of Killbit Nomad where I give you tips and reviews on tech and finance. So let's unbox this thing. All right guys, here's the box. The video mic NTG looks a lot better than the Rode video mic I had before. And just to give you a, a quick look on this before I unbox it. So it says here 30 plus hours battery life, auto sensing output, safety channel, highly directional, USB audio compatible. This is one of the reasons actually why I bought this instead of the Rode Wireless Go. But I'll show you all the specs here and then we'll talk about why I chose this over the other mics. All right, I've taken the box out. So this is the inner box that's inside here. Same thing, all the features. Now let's open this. Let's take this out. Okay, here you go. Put it away. Okay, here's the mic. It's already hooked up to the horseshoe mount as well as the windshield of it. It's not a dead cat. Unfortunately, they don't uh, include the dead cat, but I don't think I'll be using this since I'll be mostly recording inside, you know, indoors rather. Let's take this out. This is how it looks. Now let's take this off. This feels, uh, yeah, I think it's metal. It's not plastic, which looks premium and it feels premium. So it's pretty good. Let me measure this one. I'm also going to put the uh, measurements in all the specs just to give you a an overview. So it's about six inches and three quarters rather. Okay. What about the features? Okay. Here are the buttons here. So the good thing about this one is it has a gain knob here. Just in case, you know, you need more amplification and stuff. Here's the gain knob in here. That's very very useful there's a power button all right i'm not even gonna try to attempt to memorize all the features in this one i'm gonna read it later on and show it to you on the screen uh what the features of this and why or one of the reasons why i bought this over the other mics just to show you how it looks like here's the power button and then here's the uh, button for the frequency cutoff there's 75 hertz and 150 hertz Okay, this feels very heavy, by the way. It's about five inches and a half, 5.5 inches, basically. Now for the mount, this is about two and a half inches. It's pretty heavy. The good thing about this one is how flexible is that you can actually move this quite, it's, it's lost right now. Okay, here you go. Now oh, that's for the lock. Okay, it's pretty sturdy, but yeah, once you put it in a mount and then you can actually move this one, I'll show it to you later. And that is pretty useful because sometimes when you're having a camera and then you're trying to look at the uh, the lens at the back of your camera and then if this all the way back like other microphones, then that's a problem. You can put your, uh, you can really look into the uh, screen or the camera. So that's a very good feature. So, let's talk about the key features of this mic. I'm not even gonna try to memorize and explain it to you because there's just a lot. So I'm just gonna read it out to you right now. First is this mic is highly directional. It's super cardioid. What that means is most of the input it's gonna pick up is around like this much in front of you. So that eliminates all the input if you're in a, like in a very loud environment or there's a humming sound around you or behind the mic with the camera so that minimizes the pickup on that and just focuses on your voice. Next feature on this mic is it has a gain knob here. So most of the mics doesn't have that. And then sometimes if it can't pick it up, then you're gonna have to use the equalizer, try to raise the uh, volume control or the gain when you're editing. But the problem with that is sometimes it may pick up other uh, sound. Next key feature is the auto sensing of the TRRS or the TRS cable. So you can, 
you can put it here on the side of the microphone and what this does is it's one of the deal breakers actually because normally when you connect it to the camera from the microphone to your dslr camera it's trs where like basically it's two stripes of this if you see the black one right here but then if you connect those cable to a let's say for example an iphone or a smartphone they won't work because the the smartphone uses trrs it has three strips if you can see you can also hook up the mic to your pc or mac and use it as a, a mic for your streaming or podcasting through the usb cable i'm going to show it to you later on how it sounds and do a comparison over my webcam mic, which I've been using forever. Now let's hook this up to the computer and do a voiceover test and see how the quality of the mic is. This is a test using the iPhone mic. I'm about an arm's length. There's no background music. I don't know what to talk about, so here it goes. This is a test using the Rode Video Mic NTG. I'm about an arm's length. I don't know what to talk about. There's no background music. So here it goes. This is a test using the Rode VideoMic NTG. It's with the windshield on. I'm about an arm's length. There's no background music. I don't know what to talk about. So here it goes. This is a test using the iPhone mic with background sound. I'm about an arm's length. I don't know what to talk about. So here it goes. This is a test using the Rode VideoMic NTG. There's background music. I'm about an arm's length. There's no windshield on. I don't know what to talk about. So here it goes. Hi guys, I'm, I'm using the, uh, the iPhone mic right now. Uh, I'm currently outside. I'm not breaking any quarantine rules, so don't worry about that. I uh, just want to test it out, how it looks right now. I'm using the front camera. I'm going to back away. I'm about, I don't know, three feet away, four feet away. So this is how it sounds right now. All right, now I'm using the Rode VideoMic NTG mic. This is without the, uh, the windshield on. And I'm still using the front camera. I'm going to put the stand in. I'm going to back up. I'm about four feet, five feet away and this is how it sounds okay i'm using the windshield on right now this is still with the rode video mic ntg i'm gonna back up i'm about four or five feet away and this is how it sounds now i'm testing the rode video mic ntg this is with the 75 hertz filter this is without the windshield on i'm giving you a 360 view let me put the stand down I'm gonna back up, I'm about 45 feet away, and this is how it sounds. Now let me walk around. I'm on the left side of the mic, and I wonder how this sounds right now. This is with still with the 75 filter decibels on. Let me go from the back. This is how it sounds from behind. And now I'm on the right side of the mic. I'm testing this out. And then we're gonna check later on. Now this is with the 150 decibel filter. Let me back up. This is how it sounds. I'm about 45 feet away with all the background sound right now. Now I'm talking to the left of the mic. This is how it sounds. This is still with the uh, gain control at six. Now I'm directly from behind. I'm talking directly from behind with the gain control at six. This is with the windshield on. Now I'm on the right side of the mic. This is how it sounds. Now let's hook this up to the computer and do a voiceover test and see how the quality of the mic is. So when you're trying to audio record through the USB cable to your computer, you just uh, choose the option right here. This is the QuickTime app and then choose Rode. Or if you're on Final Cut Pro, you just go to Window and then record voiceover. And from there, go to Input, choose Rode Mic NTG. So the Rode NTG has another feature which is called the Safety Channel. What it does is it records the right channel at a higher gain while the left channel at a lower gain. 
that is very good when you're at a place where you can't control the audio or you're worried that it might clip out because there's a background noise that is so loud. So what it does is the right channel records at a higher volume while the left channel is at a much lower volume. So now I'm hooked up to the PC with a USB-C to USB-A cable. So now I'm hooked up to the PC with a USB-C to USB-A cable. This is with the negative 20 decibel option and this is how it sounds. This is with the negative 20 decibel option and this is how it sounds. So the Rode VideoMic NTG has lots of features in it. It's loaded with features, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have any concerns, especially legit concerns. Some of the concerns I have with this mic is that the battery is non-replaceable. So that means that in a year or two, when the battery doesn't hold as much charge in it, you're gonna have to replace the whole mic instead of just the battery, unlike the other Rode mics where the battery is replaceable. So if you're planning to use this for a long time, then this might not be for you. Also, the mic doesn't have any low battery indicator, so you don't know if the battery is running out. But Rode said that this mic has about 30 hours of runtime. When it's fully charged, you should be good for the whole day. Just make sure that you always recharge this mic every two to three days if you're using it a lot. If you're serious about smashing the like button and hitting the subscribe button if you haven't yet then this mic is for you but on a serious note this mic is for people who are serious about uh youtubing uh podcasting vlogging you know and you need a mic that's really versatile the safety channel is very very good especially when you're outside where you can't control the audio so you have a backup where basically the right channel is on a higher gain and the, the left channel is on a lower gain. So I think this mic is well worth it. Uh, it's one of the best on the $200 price range. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Lars of Killbit Nomad. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe again if you haven't. And see you in the next video. People are looking at me on what the f I'm doing right now, but whatever. <laughs>